All right guys, so you're probably wondering, what are you doing with Rob's trailers? Well, here's the deal. We found a freaking place, y'all. We found a place. It's actually, it's not what we prefer, but I think it's a wiser choice. And by wiser choice, I just mean, look, the coronavirus, if you watch the news, I mean, everybody's saying that uh, small businesses are really gonna have a hard time staying in business dudes if it lasts a couple months. So look, I mean, our place just built or burned down. So. I mean, it's gonna be twice as hard for us to rebuild, but luckily we found a person who offered us a building, guys, no joke. So it's awesome, and I've got even bigger, bigger, bigger news than that, but you gotta stay tuned to this end of the, end of this video. I'm not editing that out, I ain't got time for that. Stay tuned to the end of the video. All right guys, so some of you probably figured it out by now, but we're not going anywhere. We are actually home, guys. Guggen Squad has this extra building. Rob called me last night to check on me just to see how I was doing. Uh, anyway, really great conversation, guys. I got huge, 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 huge news, but I'm gonna wait for Rob to be in the video so that we can announce it to you guys together. But hey, look, what we're doing is, is we're loading up the wood into here because we've got to get all of this area clear because I have a call in for warehouse racking. So we are gonna get this baby nice and tight. We're gonna get shelved all the way to the ceiling so we can maximize the space. But you know what? I listen to you subscribers. I'm gonna slow down. I'm gonna downsize, for at least now. The YouTube's blowing up, guys. We really enjoy, if we're being honest, We I love auctions. I'm never stopping auctions. Never gonna stop units. But YouTube's paying the bills, guys. For right now, and you guys have helped to keep the staff on, People are laying off employees right now, guys, just because of the coronavirus. Think about that. Think about that for just a second. Their buildings didn't even burn down a week ago. So we really have the stack against us. But again, me and Rob will have big news uh, that'll be dropping probably at the end of this week. Me and Rob are buying a unit today. Uh, actually, we're gonna be buying several units this week. So watch out for those videos on Lunkers TV and here. Um, but what I'm gonna do here in a second is take you over to the Guggen Squad. So this is the back. Guggen Squad is on that way. So we are gonna get this done. Rob actually told me, he said, dude, I've still got $30,000 worth of uh, uh, upgrades for the building. And I'm like, man, that's awesome. So we're gonna actually get sheetrock. We're gonna get a few offices in here. Guys, it's gonna be smaller, it's gonna be great. This is actually a main highway that goes out this area right here. You see all those cars going by out there. This is Highway 380. The traffic out here is ridiculous. So guess what I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna get a big old, our channel art. We're gonna get Grimes Finds right here, real big. So all those people can see my big, ugly, hairy face. Grimes Finds Auction House is moving to the Guggen Squad headquarters. You have Guggen Squad on that side doing their thing. And me and the Grimes crew will be here doing our thing. And this is gonna be a permanent thing for now. Again, I just think it's wise guys with the economy right now. He's not charging us rent and I'll tell you why. There's gonna be a reason why. Y'all just stay tuned. It's huge, huge news. All right guys, so here, there's gonna be some exciting stuff, right? Because being in a new place means, with another place means there's gonna be new faces to the channel. So what I'm doing is I'm walking over to the Guggen Squad headquarters and we're gonna meet a couple of their guys that actually run the store during the day, during the week. Why? Because they're gonna be in our videos, guys. I'm gonna be up here, you know, I'm just, you know I like to have fun. So I'm sure I'm gonna bring them in on my reindeer games every once in a while. So let's go meet the guys. Putting you on the spot. All right, here they are, guys. So these guys are gonna see a lot on our channel coming up. Uh, I'm gonna try to leave them alone. I'm gonna be very quick. So we're not gonna interrupt him unless we're plotting on Rob, right? right. In the future? Exactly. It's the only time I'm gonna interrupt yes. you when we're plotting on Rob. What's your name? Jake. Jake, what do you do right here? Uh, run the storefront. And clean fish, right? 
Right. Exactly. This morning I got here and they were hacking up a bunch of crappie and it looked really good, but I missed it. And what's your name? Grant. Grant, what do you do? I'm the manager of this place. Have you ever seen my channel? Either one of you. Don't I've, lie. I've watched it. You have? One time. Oh, scale of one to ten, how weird am I? Five and a half. That's that's not good enough. What about you? You seen it? I, I haven't seen it. I... All right, he's my favorite. <laughs> just saying, I'm just saying, and I like. I, look, uh, did you get your phone? Yeah. Get it out real quick. Kay. We're gonna do this right now. I'll put you on the spot. All right, what are we doing? You're going to subscribe to my channel. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my God, this guy. This that's why he's the manager, right? Yeah. See, look at him. He's all on it. Grimes finds. Grimes finds. You got it pulled up. Uh, boo. We'll turn him on. Oh yeah, you better, oh, man. Now we gotta do all this. You're gonna be on my channel a lot, bro. You gotta be. You gotta be watching, right? Yeah. Gotta, you are gonna tell your friends about it? Gotta tell my friends. You gonna tell your friends about it? I'll, I'll talk to you. Uh -huh. <laughs> <Do I make? laughs> all right, guys. So I want to show you this part of the building right here. This is dedicated for something else. I'm not. I'm. I'm actually sketching out the outlay. Uh, the big part of the building that we're gonna be in is over there. Uh, but I have a very special, special uh, project that we are gonna use this entire space for so here's the dang deal y'all y'all have been so kind the lord has been so kind to us through a tough time and i always said if i had the chance to start a homeless ministry connected to my business because of what i do clothes all that good stuff that people could use that we would start it so this room right here is dedicated to all those who don't have anything that don't have uh, clothes to wear they just don't have toothbrushes toothpaste hair products soap we're gonna put bins all in this place to where we can take those items and we're going to take donations for new toothpaste and stuff like that uh, but this room right here will be the grimes finds homeless ministry and actually where people could come out once a month and volunteer their time to help us sort and make packages for the homeless and then we're going to take those out to dallas and we're going to hit the streets with those so hey this room right here is very special to me and it's something very special that i've always wanted to do um, and we're, we're not going to wait. The Lord has been good to us. You have been good to us. And I told you, any of the money to keep the, was going straight to the staff to keep them on, hey, mission accomplished. Uh, we needed a place, mission accomplished. <laughs> so now, uh, homeless ministry, mission accomplished. We're going to do good things with the guys. I told you we would. And hey, check it out. Now that we're here at Guggen Squad headquarters, big, big things are coming. New content, new types of content. And we're still going to bring the same great storage unit finds. Y'all, we're going to be able to snipe the best units. So we were already pretty good at profiling units and getting them. But now we really are just going to, we're not going out and buying any more junky units. We're getting the best of the best and that's it. So this is through this door. Here's the homeless place. Right here through this door will be the Grimes Finds headquarters. So, and right here, we're gonna do all this. We're gonna get all this trash taken out, but we're gonna redo these. That's probably just be a storage, uh, but I'll probably uh, office out of here, uh, make one of the offices in here. Actually, that might be the Grimes Finds merch little area, because we don't have a lot of merch, but we're gonna keep some on hand. So if you guys wanna come out, meet the Guggen guys, uh, or I say Rob, really, because Rob's really the only one here and his guys. Um, and then this will probably be just, we'll have one office with a few desks in here. All right, guys, so check it out. We are about to head out of here. Me and Gina have got to go talk to a sign company, and I've got a lot of stuff that I've got to do with the insurance agency, so I've got to go take care of that right now. All right, guys, so I'm going to change gears real quick. I am working on something. I actually just, uh, I was bidding on a unit for Rob, and if you'll remember that unit that I bought for $1,260 like three weeks ago, uh, I'm going to update you. I'm going to give you an update here in a minute. But what I'm doing is me and Rob, here's what I can tell you. 150,000 kajillion percent we have busted um, a self-storage facility. I'm not going to tell you where they are yet, but here's what I'm telling you. We are busting them tomorrow. We have the video evidence. We have, the, we have everything. Here's the deal. Rob just bought a lean unit that I bought... The exact unit, the exact location, the to location, the exact location, same number, everything, guys. He just bought the same exact unit at the same facility three weeks later. Now, let me tell you something. If you don't know about storage facilities, how it works, lean units legally have to be advertised here in the state of Texas. So what has to happen is it's a long process. So I bought the lean unit, right, three weeks ago. Three weeks goes, or so, so let's say that maybe they're lucky. Maybe even the very next day a person comes in and they buy the unit, right? Or they rent the unit. They've got a full month, right? So they can't even start the lien process till they're delinquent a few weeks and then they have to put it in the paper and they have to run it. So it's about a two and a half month process that that unit should have never been up for sale. They just advertise it as a lien sale again. 
Me and Rob found it out. We bust it. We've got all the video evidence. And so what we're going to do is tomorrow we are busting them literally there at the location. We've got a plan. We've got it all ready. There's no denying it. They're going to get busted. So, hey, hey, without further ado, let's do a little flashback. Let's go check it out and see when I profiled units. I mean, some of y'all probably thought I was nuts, but I was so sure that that was staged. I was so sure. Check it out. All right, guys. Welcome to another episode of Grimes Finds. This is the $1,260 edition. All right, guys. Welcome to another episode. Alright guys, welcome to another episode of Grimes Finds. We are back, so we are going to try and finish up this unit that me and Rob started yesterday. If you haven't seen, we did find a hard gun case at the very front. It was actually sitting at the front corner. Actually, let me show it to you. Bad boy is right here. So this was right there. And this scope was sitting on the floor next to it. All right, guys, so I want to show you something. Uh, not necessarily the contents that's in the box, but look in here. Uh, all sellable stuff, you know, look, games, tons of games down there. Sorry, you got Play-Doh, uh, things like this. But what you'll notice in there, it's a puzzle. Uh, look, it's a box in a box. And when I was here with Lunkers and I was climbing up here, I opened these. But this tape, y'all, was so fresh. I mean, it's so fresh. And the lady up front told us this has been here for a long, long... She over-exaggerated the story, which I don't believe her. Just being honest. I'm not saying she's lying, I'm just saying I don't believe her. So... But there's boxes and boxes. These boxes are obviously newer. This tape is definitely newer. This tape has not been in here a long time at all. No. Uh, so, but there's... It's basically all these, like, junky falling across boxes were put into these new, clean... Before I got a hold of them. New, clean with new tape. Look, sometimes you just gotta connect dots and it is what it is. But I'll tell you right now, I don't believe that I've never, all the units I've bought, I've never seen someone put boxes and boxes, uh -huh. like crappy boxes in here, like all of them. So they've been here a long time. I'm calling Bologna on that. I don't believe that these boxes, the dust in here, nothing says that the furniture doesn't match. I mean, the furniture's not even dusty. To right. be honest, it looks like, like this looks like maybe old maintenance stuff from maybe here, I don't know. Do I think this unit's been sabotaged with? If I had to guess right now, I'd say absolutely yes, it has been. Same thing, kid stuff. Maybe some little Polly Pocket action. I don't know what that is, but look. Another box in a box. All right, guys, so here, look. So here's where we're getting to the uncovered part. And so look, here's these boxes that we're finding in the paid for newer Home Depot boxes. And I did not do that. I did not do that. These have been ripped open. Okay, that was obviously sealed. Somebody, when you pull stuff like that open, you're looking, you're doing what I'm doing. You're trying to see what's in the box. The owner of the box does not do that because he knew that there was trash in there and he wouldn't be digging in there for trash, would he? So well, here's what I'm doing. I'm actually going to go up to the office and I'm going to ask her if this was a lean unit because it was advertised as a lean unit. And if it wasn't, if she tells me it's not a lean unit, and I'm gonna ask her for the information. It's all public information. I can get it online. I just don't wanna look for it, but I'll ask her for it. And we'll go from there. What me and Gina are gonna do is we're gonna jump in the truck because after we just sat here and talked about it, no personal paperwork, I mean, nothing makes sense in this unit. So what I'm gonna do is go ask for a copy of our invoice. I'm gonna do a little research. I'll probably add what I find into the end of this video if I have time. Uh, but I'm just gonna go down there and I'm gonna ask her a few questions. Because one, uh, it was advertised as a lean unit and I'm gonna ask her if it was a lean unit. If she says yes, that's very, very easy to check. The public notices here in Dallas to see if that was actually advertised. But anyway, something doesn't smell right. So we're gonna do further research and we'll be back to let you know what we find. Was that a lean unit? Was it? Is it in public notice? Is it in the public notice? What? It's a weird unit. I don't know, it's just weird. I, I buy hundreds of units. Nothing matters. You know how usually you can, what you can do is you can pick things like in the unit to profile them. And usually that'll follow true through the boxes somewhat, right? If you see things outside, it'll resemble something inside the box. That unit. It's like weird. It's boxes and boxes. Like old boxes and new boxes. Tools, gun, case at the front, cowboy autographs, and then kid stuff. Kid stuff? Yeah, it just doesn't matter. Nothing 
You know, there's always some resemblance in the boxes when you sell signs. Anyway, I was just curious. Alright, you got it? Are you ready? Yeah. Yes, okay, you're good. Alright, okay. right, guys, so hey, there it is. You let me know what you think. Not in the chit chat, but down in the comments below, let me know. Do you agree with me? Here's the thing, I'm telling you, 1,000 kajillion, pajillion, whatever, times infinity and beyond, this unit, we just busted them, y'all. Look, if you watch all the other storage channels, you see that this is becoming a huge problem in this industry. And I said that, and I said we are gonna finally bust somebody if they don't stop. And you saw, I had that lady on camera admitting that it was, an, or she said it was a lean unit, gave me a big story about how it was two brothers and all this, and oh, that's weird. And so anyway, check it out. Not only did she sell Rob the same unit as a lean unit, that unit, that same unit, they sell it every freaking month stage. And guess what? Tomorrow, Rob's picking me up in a spicy little new number he bought. I cannot, I, look, I don't, man, I just, you gotta wait. You gotta see, you gotta see what we're rolling up on them on. So anyway, check it out. Cam's gonna be there. We got hidden mics. We got hidden cameras. It's about to go down. So you gotta be here tomorrow night. But hey, check it out. That's the end of this video. So make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell, select all, cause we do do premieres. Cause we love you and we love hanging out with you. We'll see you here tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Central to see how we take them down. Other than that, see you in the next year.